Hello and Shabbat Shalom. Hope that you are excited about Shabbat to begin because Shabbat is going to begin very soon for us as we enter the uh, Torah portion of Ki Tavo, a continued conversation, the 37 day long speech conversation, not really a conversation, more of a one sided speech from Moses to the Israelites uh, here in the last book of the Torah and the book of Dvarim, the book of Deuteronomy. Kitavo means when you enter, when you uh, arrive, when you show up. And the Torah portion gives us some, for lack of term, uh, rules of engagement, rules of things that we should do upon entering, upon entering the land. Don't forget the Israelites are really nowhere. They have not reached the, the land of Israel. They're, but they're in preparation to, they're on the cusp. And Moses is, of course, uh, giving all the last instruction that he possibly can, all the last bits of information before uh, he is going to die at the age of 120. And so he talks about this this uh, particular section of the Torah uh, called Bikurim, or first fruits. Hence behind me, there are uh, these uh, sort of enlarged uh, photos of uh, fruits. And the, the, there's a pomegranate of, over here and over here. And uh, this idea of the first fruits is a pretty fascinating concept. It really has to do with our relationship with with God and our appreciation of God in our lives. That sometimes I think we just don't think about. I think that a lot of uh, a lot of time we uh, just think we accomplish everything on our own, and God doesn't really play a factor. And Bikurim is there to remind us that hypothetically, we were all let's say we're all farmers. And we all picked a type of crop uh, of farming. Let's say that we were all um, we were we were we had uh, orange orchards. Let's just say, and uh, in those in in those in those orchards, we would uh, of course find the best piece of fertile land. We would get the best uh, seeds for for the land. We would get the best uh, instruments to uh to open up the land for us to make the 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 uh, proper uh farming uh sections and to uh, make sure that we had proper uh, area for our seeds whether it was uh many 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 years ago uh, we used uh, oxen or other animals or now we use uh, regular equipment and then of course we planted those seeds properly and we set it we set the ground up properly and then we would of course hope for rain or create some kind of a watering system for ourselves and then after all that work, hopefully we would have the beginnings of, and then eventually, uh, orchards of orchards of oranges, which would be great. That's the whole point of what we're trying to do. But Bikurim reminds us that on our first round of crop, the first time that the land produces these fruits for us, we can't actually use them for anything. They're really for to go back to God to donate back to God somehow to to donate back to the Jewish system and not derive any benefit at all from these first fruits. And this tells us that this this is this exists because we didn't make the seeds. We, we didn't make it rain. We didn't make the land. And so the Torah portion reminds us that we are in true partnership with God because without God, we don't have these resources. And without us, God doesn't have the the hands, right? The the partners to be able to uh make make these forests. And so there's a true partnership. And so on the day that we think, I made this, I did this myself, that's that's when the problems really start. And that's why the Torah portion is here to remind us of the appreciation, the partnership with God. And so on this Shabbat, I invite all of us to actually take a deeper look at that. Don't just turn off the Zoom and think, oh yeah, God, okay. But really think about how God plays a factor into each and each and every one of our lives. Do we really feel like we're partners with God in certain moments? Or, or do we just think God takes care of God's stuff and we're humans and I really made the, the orchard myself? But like I said, on the Shabbat, I, I invite us to, th to think a lot more deeply about this and to find the special connections that we have with God where we really find that we're true partners.
Services are not long from now. They are at 6.30, uh, just around the corner. And tomorrow morning, we have our Torah study and service at 8.30 a.m. And we look forward to seeing you all very soon. Shabbat Shalom.